Hey, thanks for joining us today. This is Lance with Brando Consulting, and in this video we're going to cover the simple steps of picking. First we need to find the screen. You can look for the screen under Sales and go to Picking Here, or you can go to Sales, Picking Here. Once the screen is loaded, there's a tab, and you can switch back and forth from the tabs. Next step, we need to find the order that you want to pick. Usually we want to pick an order that can be picked all the way, um, rather than a, a partial order. Yellow means it's a partial order, and only some of the order can be picked. Green means you can pick the entire order. To decide which order to pick, you may need to stretch this bar out for more helpful information, like when the pick is scheduled to be picked, for instance. So once you have a pick that you've decided to pick, go to the top left-hand corner and click Start. Fishbowl will prompt you to print out a pick ticket. This is what the pick ticket looks like. The pick ticket will only show started lines from the pick. It will not show lines that have a red square. If you have a committed pick, you may need to go modify the report and check the box to show committed pick. So once we've printed out the pick ticket, hand the pick to your picker and he'll follow the instructions on the pick to go to this location, pick from that location, and he may add some more notes recording what lot number was picked if if uh, it's tracked by lot number, etc. Et um, he may record the quantity that was picked and move the items to the shipping location to be packaged. And that's all a pick is, is a move from stock to shipping. Once you receive the pick ticket back, then you re can record that the pick was finished. Highlight each line, viewing the pick ticket, and select Finish. We'll record the revision level that was picked here. You'll only get this pop-up if your item has lot number tracking or revision level tracking or some sort of tracking turned on. Click Finish. That changes to a blue check mark. Click the next line. Click Finish. Select the serial numbers that were picked. Click Finish. Uh, you may sometimes get a, a warning if you're picking something with an expiration date uh, that, are, that is past due. In this demo, we'll, we'll continue, but obviously you'll want to probably pick something else if that pops up. And there you go. Our pick is done, and it's ready to be shipped.